Chapter 64 Mount Hua was in chaos. No, it was already in a state of turmoil, but now it was in a fuss for a completely different reason. Master Huang was saved. Who's Master Huang? The greatest merchant of the Unha Guild. Even if all the merchants of Unha gathered, they wouldn't be able to go against Master Huang. Huh? Is he that great of a person? That's what I'm telling you. The third class disciples were all in disbelief or shock as they spoke. Cheng Meng saved someone that important? Wow, this is really weird. I know. Why would he? It was good news, but the third class disciples were all confused. With this, Cheng Meng's position was bound to rise, and it was clear that the adults in Mount Hua would favor him more. Wasn't Cheng Meng already being protected by Ungom and the sect leader? And now, He's going to get another level up? Jogul smiled. I wonder what he's getting himself up to. He is really a ghost-like man. Maybe the heavens were helping him. Isn't it too much, Sahyong? Well, doesn't he have too much luck on his side? Yun Jung looked at Jogul and spoke. You think it was luck? You think it's something else? It isn't luck. It's skill. Jogul tilted his head. Yun Jung started to explain when he saw his companion's confusion. It was Cheng Meng's skill that gained him the authority to go down to Huam village. That's why he got picked to deliver the letter. What would we have done in that situation? All we could have done was inform our elders of the situation and perform our usual duties in Mount Hua. Yeah. What's more, there was no guarantee that Master Huang would survive his treatment either, but he took a chance because of his skill. If things had gone poorly, Master Huang might have died and Mount Hua would have been ostracized as a sect that tried to take advantage of a wealthy guild only to cause a catastrophe instead. It's a situation in which even the sect leader can't move about recklessly. Jogul nodded his head. What Yun Jung said was true. Everything looks easy when you see someone else do it. You only realize how difficult something truly is when you must do it yourself. Focus on developing your skills instead of discussing luck. Luck may provide you with opportunities, but if you lack the skill to capitalize on that moment, then it's all a waste. Yes, Sahyong. Jogul sighed low. Sahyong is starting to nag more and more these days. In the past, Yun Zhong was the kind that would step aside from any situation. Although he was sitting in a symbolic seat as the eldest of the third class disciples, he wasn't someone outstanding and never tried to make use of his position. Like water, he would often just go with the flow. Lately, though, he felt more and more like a Sahyong. He's changed since he decided to achieve something in Mount Hua. It was the same with Jogul. The others went silent and fell into contemplation at Yun Zhong's words. However, Yun Zhong's words weren't finished. But I am worried. About? The process and result were achieved through his skills, but it is also true that his position has increased. Cheng Meng had already made several contributions to Mount Hua. Now, he made another major one. So what level would his status rise to? I am sure that something else is bound to happen. Chong Meng being vicious like a snake isn't the problem here. The problem was that this vicious person was diligent. Ah, <sighs> just what sin did I commit in my previous life? The white plum blossom boarding house was filled with sighs. Master Huang decided to take over the businesses in Huang. We're fortunate. If it's Master Huang, we can trust him. Hyun Jung tried to suppress his excitement. I'm so glad that I can't even make tea. It wasn't easy to stabilize his hands, which were trembling in excitement. Huang Munyak offered to manage their business without any charge. He even promised a huge amount of compensation, saying that he would repay the favor he had received. He simply placed two conditions. Instead of accumulating wealth inside Mount Hua, the money earned would be utilized for the development of Mount Hua. And the other was to give preference to the third class disciple, Cheng Meng. The first condition was no problem. Hyun Jung had no intention of storing the wealth away. Mount Hua wasn't in a position where it could leisurely accumulate wealth. They would have to pour money down the well before it would become stable enough to hold water. The problem was the second condition. Preference is too vague of a term. It was a natural request to expect from Master Huang. Cheng Meng had saved his life. As Cheng Meng is a disciple of Man Hua, 
it can be said that Master Huang was repaying the favor by investing in Man Hua. Yet, he had a special interest in Chongmyung himself. The problem came from the term preferential treatment. What are some ways we can give such treatment to a third-class disciple? That was what made Hyun Jung's head hurt. If he soberly evaluated the achievements made by Chongmyung, it was strange that he hadn't been rewarded properly. But wasn't Chongmyung already receiving privilege that even the great disciples couldn't have? At a time like this, Hyun Jung looked at Unam. Unam looked at Hyun Jung too and opened his mouth. Hmm, this is a good thing. Unam drew in the crowd's attention, looking around at them and continued. The reason Master Huang asked this is because Chongming had saved him from a horrible end. Well, yes. He's such a good child. How does he choose to only do good deeds? Is he a spirit? He's truly on the path of Tao. Tell me about it. <clears throat> Unam coughed once to gather the attention from those talking about the child. Then, shouldn't we reward the child again? Well, yes, he should be rewarded. He does deserve it. Everyone nodded. Hmm, so what kind of reward do you think would be fine? Let's all give our opinions. Seeing that things had gone the way he wanted, Hyun Jung smiled. Wouldn't it be nice to have a disciple that only brings fortune to Mount Hua and receives appropriate rewards in return? Of course, such things were a blessing to Mount Hua. Considering that he's a third-class disciple, why not teach him a martial art which he normally couldn't learn as a third-class disciple? Hyun Jung looked at Hyun Sang. This was certainly preferential treatment for the child. After I finished studying them, why not let Chung Myung learn the Seven Sages Sword and the Falling Flower Sword? That would certainly make him happy. That's a great idea, sect leader. I agree. It was a very warm atmosphere. Hyun Jung smiled and nodded his head. Then, as we discussed, no! At that moment, someone interrupted Hyun Jung's words. Hyun Jung slowly turned his gaze and looked at the source of the voice. Finance head, Hyun Jung. He decried with a face full of anger. Sec leader, it makes no sense to give that child this kind of reward. Ah, uh, what now? This discussion was going to be another pain in the ass. Although Hyun Jung was the sec leader of Mount Hua, Hyun Jung was also an elder and a member of the financial side. He couldn't easily ignore the words of Hyun Jung and do what he wanted. Finance head, what now? That's your reward? What kind of reward is that? Huh? Do you think that if you give that child martial arts, he'll be happy? He's already busy training every day at the dorms, and you want to give him more to learn? That's not a reward, it's punishment. What? What is this? Why did it seem like the conversation went in a strange direction? Amid everyone's confusion, Hyunyun looked at them with fire blazing in his eyes. That is no reward. A reward must be something that you give another person wholeheartedly. What kind of reward is this? When you give a reward, it needs to be significant enough to feel a certain reluctance to part with it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? What was this man even saying? Hyun Jung looked at Hyun Young with eyes that were full of bewilderment as he couldn't figure out what was happening. Wasn't Hyun Young the one who hated Chung Myung the most and said he had to be punished at all costs in the previous meeting? Why did he suddenly change his position? At last, an excitable voice erupted from Hyun Young's mouth. Do you think this is some normal contribution? Thanks to that child, Master Huang was saved and the money is flowing into Mount Hua. No, Mount Hua is being supported. Master Huang even said that he would even manage the businesses for free. For free! Only then did Hyun Jung understand why this was happening. Hyun Jung was the head of finances, someone who had to take care of the maintenance of Mount Hua. To put it bluntly, it was a position that needed to manage the money within Mount Hua. Really, it would be expressed in one word. Hell. How horrible must it have been to manage the finances for a ruined sect? However, thanks to him, Mount Hua was able to survive until now. No more. There was no one willing to aid a ruined sect, and debtors kept coming to collect. Then, when the situation became dire, Chongmyung solved the problem. Although a large chest of money was found, 
money would disappear quickly once it found a use. What the finance head wanted wasn't money, which would run out when used, but stable income, which could be invested each month with the businesses running well. How happy must he be? After all, Chong Myung saved Master Huang, the person Mao Hua needed the most, in order to steer them towards the best outcome. From his perspective, he would support Chong Myung even if he needed to wait on him hand and foot for over a month. Hyun Yong was red when he shouted, Give him a proper reward! That way, he will bring more nice things to us! A reward isn't an investment to earn back later. Anyway, Hyun Yong, who was excited, even stopped Hyun Jung from speaking. Sec leader, that child, he is a god! He's the god of wealth! You need to give him a proper reward and keep using him to earn more money! Do you get it, huh? Do you know just how much money he's earned this time? All these other idiots are gathered here, but not a single one among them has even brought in a penny. Such bastards, but this child is a wonderful bastard, right? Do you understand? Say yes! Hyun Sang got up from his seat and then hugged Hyun Yong from behind and started pulling him out of the room. Set leader, reward him! Reward him right! A huge reward! As he was dragged out, Hyun Jung sighed. I hope you all understand. He's gone through some tough times. We understand. Actually, there isn't anything we can do, considering the hardship that he's endured. How difficult must it have been? Seg leader, Wenam cleared the atmosphere and spoke. Finance head is right. Chomyung needs to be rewarded properly. I especially like the idea of giving him what he really deserves. Well, that's right. If we look at the situation calmly, Cho Myung's achievements this time cannot be compared to what he did previously. Hyun Jung nodded his head. But last time, it was pure coincidence. So the disciples will also try to see what kind of reward Cho Myung receives this time. Yes. I want Cho Myung to be given a proper reward so that all disciples understand that those who achieve great deeds from Mount Hua will be awarded appropriately. Everyone nodded their heads, and Hyun Jung said, Then, what should be the reward? No one could answer. First of all, it was Unam who spoke. He likes going down to Mount Hua, so I think it might be good to have him be our liaison with the Unha Guild. But wouldn't that just be turning him into an errand boy? Is that even a reward? Master Huang is fond of Chung Myung, so he will treat him favorably each time. Ah... That is true. Hyun Jung nodded his head. It was a good idea. As soon as one opinion came out, the others began to express their thoughts as well. Why not give him a plum blossom sword in advance? Wouldn't the child like that? What use would the plum blossom sword be to a child who still trains with a wooden sword? Why not give him a new uniform, embroidered with golden thread? What's the point of wearing gold line thread when food is scarce? Let's just give him something to eat or let him take something from the library. Do you think Cho Myung is like you? You think we should give him food as a reward? Then we'll give him pills. There are no pills in Mount Hua. Then buy some. We have money. It was then. The Hyun Yong kicked the door open and shouted, Just give him money. What are you all racking your heads for when we have money to give? You frustrating old bastard. Shut up and give him money for... Um, um, um... Hyun Sang covered Hyun Jung's mouth and dragged him out again with an awkward smile. Tuck. Hyun Jung closed his eyes. It is true that good things have constantly been happening lately. But the more Mount Hua grew, the stranger it became. Maybe it was just his imagination. <laughs>